Hello, this is Kelvin King, the founder and chief executive officer of Alpha Aviation, and I'm pleased to present the professional development program presentation to you. Over the next 10 to 15 minutes, you will hear from me present to you the different phases of training and the strategies that we have in place to help the aspiring aviator pursue the airline pilot career. If you're looking for pricing on our programs, this presentation will not provide pricing. Please go on our website, www.alpha-aviators.com to get an update on our training program pricing. But before I begin the presentation, I'd like to give you a little bit of a background on myself. I'm a pilot at United Airlines. I've been a pilot with United since 2017. Prior to United, I served two other airlines on a regional market for six years. And during uh, the time that I've been serving the airlines as a pilot, I've also had the pleasure of managing uh, the world's largest flight school in the Northeast region as a training center manager, or a nickname for that role would be chief pilot. So I've used my experiences in the chief pilot role, as well as an airline pilot, to develop the strategy that we now call the professional development program to help students pursue their dreams as airline pilots. As a pilot, I've accrued more than 10,000 hours of uh, logged flight time. More than 2,000 hours have been provided uh, in training to about 400 students or so. And 99% of those students passed their check rides on the first attempt. So I'm pleased again to utilize my experiences to help strategize the next generation of pilots to the airlines. Many people have asked me, well, why am I doing this? Well, here's why. As a Christian, I have been inspired, authorized, and commissioned to help the last, least, and lost become the first, most, and found. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has been an influencing drive on why Alpha Aviation exists today. Dr. King's work and his time in ministry as well focused on empowering uh, people socially and economically, and Alpha Aviation is continuing in that work. Another role model of mine, Floyd Flake, one of the most influential congressmen and pastors in the history of New York City, revitalized the Jamaica Queens neighborhood going back to as far back as the 70s. And now the area is a regional powerhouse for the five boroughs of New York. And I'm pleased to uh, continue uh, Dr. Flake's work as it relates to empowering people. And finally, Bishop Richard Moore, uh, my pastor growing up as a youth, really believed in empowering people and taking ownership of business. He is a very seasoned businessman and he worked really hard to encourage uh, his congregation, his members to become entrepreneurs. So Alpha Aviation exists because of these leaders and because of them, they have helped uh, me uh, strategize and uh, organize ways to help uh, communities stabilize uh, their economic statuses by developing people in the six-figure salary careers. I'm very passionate about helping young men and women secure themselves economically by uh, pursuing uh, careers that pay six-figure salaries or greater. Uh, there are so many benefits for that person the families, the household, as well as the entire community. And I won't take this entire presentation to get into all of that, but uh, that's why I'm doing this work. So rather if someone's interested in becoming a doctor or an air traffic controller or a lawyer or whatever the case may be, um, I am philosophically bound to career coach mentoring and helping our young brothers and sisters secure successful careers. Concerning the airline pilot career, the airline pilot career will help me help the community meet that goal. Here's a fact. 
airline pilots earn over $100,000 a year for the vast majority of years of service in their careers. Maybe the first year or two at a regional airline, you may not earn over $100,000, but over the course of the career, going through the natural progress of growing from uh, moving up from first officer to captain and going from regional airline to major airline, uh, more than 98% of airline pilots earn easily over $100,000 a year in salary and the uh, overall compensation package. And that's why I believe uh, it is important to normalize airline pilot careers in uh, communities that are socioeconomically behind the average uh, expectations of a, a community in the United States. So Alpha Aviation is determined to help meet that goal. And we've developed a 10 phase training program to help the aviator grow from no experience to the commercial pilot level with multi-engine ratings and flight instructor ratings at a nonprofit styled training format for somewhere around $50,000. At a flight school or a college in, or university that has a flight training program, it's easily minimum somewhere in the mid 80 something thousand dollar range in terms of cost to get the uh, commercial pilot license with the multi-engine rating and the instructor rating and the CFI ratings and all of that. So we're using a nonprofit model to help select students get the hours needed and the experience needed to get to these levels of uh, accomplishment as a pilot, particularly as a commercial pilot, multi-engine instrument privilege with flight instructor privileges as well somewhere in the nonprofit realm of $50,000. We've developed a six month training program to get to that level. And then the remainder of the time in the program, it's all about building time and building experience until successfully earning the entry level uh, job as a pilot. So here's how we're gonna do it. We intend to uh, hire the professional development student, the aviator in our program, as a drone pilot, we'll talk about that. We intend to hire you as a flight instructor, and uh, we'd hope that you will grow into a managerial role with us as well, so that you can help us uh, develop uh, a generation of students behind you in the program. So here are the 10 steps. Phase one, private pilot program. 50 hours of flight training, 20 hours of simulation in 60 training days. Before we even get into the aircraft, we're gonna start 10 hours of training in the simulator and we're gonna build a solid foundation as it relates to procedures and checklist usage and, and all of the basic technical information that will apply to the pilot, not just at the private pilot level, but all the way up to the airline pilot level. There are some very fundamental foundational uh, techniques that we need to ensure the aviator understands before even entering the aircraft. So phase 1A will take care of that. Phase 1B, 25 flight hours over the course of somewhere in a 40-day range, we'll focus on uh, preparing the aviator to solo an aircraft without the flight instructor on board, which is a tremendous milestone of all pilots. To become a private pilot, you do need 10 hours of solo time in the airplane and uh, phases uh, 1B, 1C, and 1D will accomplish that. 1E is check ride preparation and uh, the actual check ride with the designated pilot examiner of the FAA. Once the check ride's complete, you're successfully a newly minted private pilot. We will help the aviator secure the drone pilot license as well. Takes about an hour or so to get that done. It's absolutely free on fasafety.gov. For those that are already licensed pilots, you can get the drone pilot license for free on fasafety.gov. It's a computer-based training program that the FA has provided at no cost to the aviator. So secure the license and uh, we will certainly have an interest in you working with us as a drone operator while continuing on through the phases of the professional development program. Once the private pilot license and drone pilot 
license is successfully secured, we will continue training in phase two with the instrument rating. The instrument rating is the rating that authorizes the pilot to fly in the clouds and we call instrument meteorological conditions with no reference to a visual horizon or anything outside the aircraft. You're flying with sole uh, reliance, sole reference to instruments inside the cockpit of the aircraft. 50 hours of flight training, 50 hours of flight simulation in 50 training days. Phase 2A of the program will introduce the aviator to complex aircraft operations. We're going to teach you how to fly an aircraft that has a retractable landing gear, flaps, and constant speed propellers. And uh, Phase 2B of the program will focus on uh, a combination of uh, additional flight lessons in the simulator combined with Phase 2C, which are instrument flight lessons in the airplane. So we will mix and mingle between phases 2B and 2C of the program. One day we'll have you in the simulator, the next day we'll have you in the airplane, then back in the sim, back in the airplane. We're gonna be flexible in this phase of the program as we work around Mother Nature. There'll be some days where the weather's just not suitable for flight. Great, we'll go ahead and assimilate it, we'll continue training. Then there'll be days where it's sunny, it's nice outside, or it's actually a nice overcast layer where we can actually get in the airplane and do some training in the clouds. Well, we'll turn the simulator off, we'll go out and we'll fly in the airplane. So phase two of the program will offer a lot of flexibility. 50 training days at the completion of phase two, you have the private pilot license, the drone pilot license, and the instrument rating. And so we'll continue on to phase three of the program. This program, though this phase of the program offers crew resource management, 90 flight hours, five hours of training in a simulator, 30 training days. Now, Crew resource management essentially is the end of SRM, which was single pilot resource management, which was the first two phases of training. And now we're beginning a new concept, crew resource management, where you're operating a, an aircraft, a flight as a crew, two or more pilots working together, utilizing all available resources to successfully move that aircraft from the departure point to the destination point. There are, there's a lot of theory here. The entire airline industry is based on CRM, and we're going to introduce this to the aviator at this phase of training. We expect 90 hours of training in this program over 30 days. We need you fully available in this phase of the program in order for you to capture the full intent of this phase. Finally, when the phase is completed, we will complete all remaining items for the aeronautical experience requirements for the commercial pilot license and we'll get you the commercial pilot license in phase four with 10 hours of flight training in 10 training days. Phase five of the program, CFI initial, we're going to teach you how to be a safe and competent flight instructor and we will then hire you as a flight instructor to work with us at Alpha Aviation. 10 flight hours of flight training, unlimited access to the simulator at no charge, and we intend to have this program complete in 25 training days. Phase six of the program, let's add instrument privileges to your flight instructor cert certificate. Our goal is to uh, help you receive the authorization by the FAA to teach students how to fly in the clouds and teach them uh, um, all of the uh, necessities to become an instrument rated pilot. Phase seven of the program, theory and tons and tons of flying as a multi-engine pilot. 15 flight hours in 20 training days. We're introducing an aircraft that has two engines and how to safely conduct it as a commercial pilot and how to safely teach others how to fly it as a multi-engine instructor. Phase eight of the program, training essentially is over at this point. We're offering uh, pipeline opportunities to the Alpha Aviator. All of our partners that are looking to uh, give you the opportunity to time build with them, uh, we'll do our very best to connect you to those partners in phase eight of the program. And while you're, you're simultaneously building opportunities as a uh, commercial pilot in our pipeline program, as well as working for us as a drone pilot and working for us as a flight instructor, we're also going to mentor you 
and prepare you for the airline pilot interviews that are well around the corner. We'll introduce you to the recruiters that represent those airlines. We'll consult with you and we will prepare your job application and your resume for the next great opportunity, which is serving the industry as an airline pilot. And then finally, phase 10, when you've successfully found employment, you're now a newly minted airline pilot, you've completed training there, what's next? Well, we ask that you give back, mentor, give back to the next generation of students that are behind you, help them get to where you are, paid for, just like I'm doing with you now at this time. Training expectations in the program. We expect all of our students to prioritize three to four training uh, lessons per week. With the exception of phase three, we need you fully available for a month so that we can successfully fly you around the country in our CRM program. So three to four training activities per week. We expect you to complete uh, your training with us in six months. Package breakdown, to get all of the uh, training that you need, the multi-engine rating, the commercial pilot license, the flight instructor ratings, the multi-engine instructor privileges, the instrument instructor privileges, we're gonna give you 70 hours of training in the simulator, 50 hours of training in our Cessna Skyhawks, and 165 hours of training in our complex uh, Cessna Cardinal or equivalent. 20 hours of multi-engine training. And we believe that this is uh, more than enough to get you where you'd like to be. Again, if you want information on the pricing, how much is this all going to cost, go to www.alphaaviators.com. That's www.alpha-aviators.com for our current pricing and uh, training programs that we offer in addition to the professional development program. Not included in the package is the deposit that will help you uh, cover the administrative costs. Uh, our staff that works hard behind the scenes to offer all of this to you. We pay them via the deposit and we also go ahead and get your badges and uh, some important uh, items that is required by law for you to train at uh, the respected airports where you'll be based at in our program. You'll need an iPad, you'll need a headset, you need two uh, Alpha Aviation Polo uniform shirts. You'll need uh, to budget for your examiner's fees, plan on $700 per check ride, and about $1,500 for your CFI initial. You'll need to budget maybe $170 for each written exam. I believe the exams have reduced in cost recently. So if you budget about $170 per written exam, you'll have more than enough to meet that need. And your FAA medical, we would like to see a first class FAA medical secured by the time you start in our training programs. And there is a fee somewhere about $140, $550 range if you are a young, healthy person. If you're over the age of 40, you will be required to have an EKG for your heart to be uh, evaluated. And that fee will, will uh, naturally cost a little bit more than than someone under the age of 40 that does not need the EKG. There is an enrollment referral fee that we offer to our students. If you find someone that is a good fit for our program and we successfully enroll them into the program, you will receive a bonus. That's our way of thanking you for growing our program and also our way of helping you to monetize every opportunity that is available to you. And finally, employment. We talked about the drone flying, working for us as a drone operator. If you'd like more information on that, go to our website, www.alphadronesusa.com, and we'll, you'll have tons of uh, access to information concerning what it's like to be a drone pilot at Alpha Aviation. We'll hire you also as a commercial pilot, conduct tour flights, sightseeing tour flights with us, also become a flight instructor and teach others how to fly and pursue their dreams as pilots. So please don't wait, enroll now. You can contact us on our hotline, 1-800-270-4987.
or go to our website, www.alpha-aviators.com for additional details. So on behalf of Micah in this picture, the president of Alpha Aviation, my sister and friend, who I'm so proud of, who is also an active airline pilot, on behalf of uh, my team, my family, who I'm so proud of, a very talented gathering of uh, professionals who are prepared to help me and to help Micah and to help the entire organization serve you and to develop you to the level that you so desire to get to, which is being an airline pilot. Thank you. Thanks for listening to this presentation. Visit us at an upcoming orientation. Visit us at an upcoming event. We look forward to speaking with you more personally and strategizing with you so that you can ultimately stabilize your future as a airline pilot. So thank you. And we look forward to meeting you and talking with you soon. Take care.